Eyewitness News continues to track the latest developments on a deadly assault. The victim of a brutal beating on Federal Hill dies, becoming the capital city's 11th homicide of the year. And now, as we wait for charges to be formally upgraded, we talk to those who were close to the victim. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live in Providence with the latest information on the story first reported on Eyewitness News. John Stack's friends tell me they're still in shock over what happened. They, they say now they're taking steps to make sure his memory lives on. Armed with a balloon and a brand new Team Stack t-shirt, Andrea Spitznagel adds to a growing memorial at John Stack's North Providence business. The message, just keep John's name alive. Team Stack, we're going to keep Stack alive. We're going to keep this name alive. We're going to keep this name strong and no one's going to ever forget him. Stack died on Saturday following a brutal assault with the 2 by 4 Wednesday night behind the $3 bar on Atwell's Avenue. Police tell us a fight between Stack and his alleged attacker, Daniel Estarza, may have been sparked by a transaction over a vehicle. As we reported last week, Estarza was arraigned on two counts of assault with a dangerous weapon. Police now tell us charges against him will be upgraded. What could you do to him, you know? What, you, he, he'll, stay, he'll stay in prison maybe his whole life and a life is lost, so, you know, you just, you hope, uh, you know, the maximum is done, you know, but, but whatever you do to him, you can't bring this boy back. As the Target 12 investigators uncovered, there's a history between the Lestarza and Stack families. In 2012, Stack, the victim of the 2 by 4 assault, served six months in the ACI for attacking Lestarza's son. Now, after the deadly assault and an unrelated bar over the weekend, the Board of Licenses temporarily revoked the $3 bar's license. Coming up new at 6, hear from some Federal Hill business owners who say these are isolated incidents and that the Hill is still a safe place to be. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.